truck hole. Currently down here in Fairfield, Texas, heading over to Hefe's Welding. We're gonna. Uh, man, they doing a lot of construction through here. See, this is normally where I come when I'm leaving. I come down here, turn around, and get on the road right here. But I'm gonna have to do something different come Sunday. But yeah, so we uh, we changed some cross members around today. We're gonna load the basket, which is the perimeter. We're gonna put some weight on it. See how it look, make sure the shims are right. Cause the way you shim these trailers, you wanna shim them to the point where you put minimum blocks in the power tower because if you have to raise over something when you're making a turn, you want to have the full uh, stroke of the cylinders to lift it up. But you want to be able to use the whole 30, 34 inches or 30 inches. Like right now, if I was making this turn, I would want to be able to pick up the trailer over these concrete barriers Possibly even these barrels, but you know, you can move the barrels. So we're gonna load it, we're gonna open it up, get familiar with it, all of that. Oh yeah, I can just come down here, turn on the highway right there. Yeah, it won't be too bad. This is a different one he built. Most of them, you got levers on the trailer. You use, you use the levers. Oh, easy, easy, easy. You use the levers. Man, they right on my ass too. You use the levers to open the scissors, close the scissors, uh, open the gates. Stuff like that. Well, on this particular one, it has levers, but it also has a remote. Never used one with a remote before. Now you got some uh, trailers out here that use remotes. You got the Transmasters. I don't know if Trail King use them or Aspen, but I know for sure Transmaster does. Transmaster, they're nice trailers too, man. They're real nice. Uh, well built, but those things are huge. They look, they look a little heavy. Sturdy, but heavy. Diamonds. Um, I've seen one of those that has a remote to it. It's a little bit easier when you got the remote because you can do a lot by yourself. You can open it up by yourself, take out the pins, you can do all that by yourself. Just in case you know your escort broke down, running late, whatever. It's gonna be a fun morning. This kind of stuff I look at is fun. I'm a heavy haul junkie, man. I, I can't help it. I got a friend of mine that works up in uh, Canada. He used to work at Richards. They have a dual lane perimeter. I seen him coming through Texas one time. I think he was grossing um, a little over 800,000 pounds. Something crazy. I'm going to get a better shot once the sun comes up. But... They've done a whole lot of work down here to the yard since I did a video, since the last time I did a video. They have expanded, I believe, five acres. They got a whole new building down here. 
And if you remember this road, normally you had the barrel to the right, go down and make a left turn inside of the gate. But now you just drive straight through. How easy is that? It just makes life so much easier. Especially when you're coming out of here with 55 feet in the well and 160 feet long. That's the new building over there. I know you can't see that good. Look at this. A lot has changed out here. Get a better look when the sun come up. Park over here and go holler at Francisco real quick. Hey, look, cameras come in handy up there. Just might see some of your stuff in here. We're gonna cut it off going over there. Get back up out of the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook up to the trailer. Shout out to my homeboy. You know who you are. Man, this thing's beautiful. Let's go ahead and get the truck up here. I'm touching something. Oh yeah. Man, I'm so used to doing tug test. Air and some electricity hooked up to it. That's gonna be a little close right there. So we're gonna double check that before I take off. All clean, look at that. Ain't nothing up in there, so we're gonna keep it nice and neat. Put my toss right there. Oh yeah.
so easy. <laughs> okay. No mas, how wide is it? Outside, 16.7. 16.7? Outside. Inside. 16.7. Fourteen eleven. I'm gonna get the inside fourteen and see pin it up at fourteen. No pieces. God, I ain't gotta go down there to close it. Big homie right here. Okay. 14. 14. Yeah. Got a hole right there. Oh. What's up, man? How you doing? Good. See if we can pin it. Yeah. One thing you need to know when you do this. Uh-huh. If this is the measurement you want, you might have to overextend it a little more. Got to pin from the center con uh, cross member out. Yeah, I got okay. you. So first thing you got to pin is this one, or this is gonna close up before the ends. All right. And then sometimes you gotta overdo it in order to get that one in first, and then go. All right. Okay. Appreciate you. On the outside. That's on 15, 8. Inside. Yeah, 14 foot. Cool. 